Yeah, yeah, what's up, my dear? So what's going on, man? You asked the phone, uh, you're not catching it. What's the problem? Why are you rooted here? Dry bones. That's all I see. What do you mean, dry bones? Dry bones. Dry asses. Dry. What you looking at? Who is she? Oh! The lady in red! Who is she? Hey, oh. hey! Follow my gaze! Merida! <laughs> nah, 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 nah! Why are you laughing? What do you say her name is? Rita. Oh. Well, well, um, I didn't mean to be disrespectful, my friend. But you see, that girl. I have this hunch that you are going to talk to her. I don't know how. How do you mean? Marida is the most sophisticated lady that has ever stepped foot in this club. Top notch. Read my lips. Top notch. Sophisticated. Oh, yeah. I Who is she? That. Well, um. Okay. Um. Who is she? I don't know, but I. I know she stepped in in this club a few months ago. Mm. Yeah, and she's different from all the girls I have seen here. Top notch. I like top notch. <laughs> so what do you mean? The reader is a no. That would be a bit difficult. Trust me. I'll deal with the difficulties. Hey, for real? Anywhere around the palace. There's nowhere in this palace. Only the gods know where he got to. Where he went to. At this ungodly hour of the night. And Obieza. Obieza who is supposed to give account of his whereabouts is so so nowhere to be found. This suggests that they're both in this together. Obieza. Yes, I will have your head on a stake for daring to disobey my instructions. If anything happens to my son, Father. Nothing will happen to him. He came as an adult. And I believe the gods will guide him wherever he is. I need to go to bed now.
Lonely? What will make an awesome beauty? Sit alone in a crowded club. What was that supposed to mean? Baby, baby. A compliment or an insult? I meant no insult. Baby, baby. That was my only two way of asking if you. If you were lonely. Alone. Do you want to be my bodyguard? More than that. A guiding angel, perhaps. What do you say? Oblige me. Let's go back to my table and now though. Put your bill for tonight. Everything. Well, you sound interesting. I am interesting. No. <laughs> and your choice of words, they are amazing. So, Adam, take that as a yes. Are you out of your mind, Obiaze? I want you and the prince back in this palace before this battle I spat on the ground dries up. No excuses. This is an order. Where did they say they are? Well, I must say you are a very interesting gentleman. Right. <laughs> Thanks. But this night could, um, could be more interesting. Hmm. Really? Really? <laughs> you are making me very curious right now. How do you intend to do that? Free your mind. Let it go. Explore. Hmm. Here he goes again. Explore. I love that word. <laughs> so. Is it going to be what's my why? Do you know him? Oh, yeah. I um I, I came with him. One minute, please. What is the meaning of this? He, he just interrupted something. Hey lover boy. That's a problem. What problem? The king just called. He wants us home now. The king? Yeah. How? How? I'm not a kid. And where the hell is your phone not switched off? Hey, come on. I'm meant to on my phone because I'm meant to get a call from home. <sighs> but then, um, take a chill pill. I know what to do. Right? I'll go back home. Tell him that, um... Yeah. I, I didn't see you. I mean, I don't know where right, you are. Right, right, right. You do that because I have no plans of coming home tonight. All right? I still have some unfinished business. Uh, I'll see you in the morning. Run that along. Was, that was fast, though. Yeah. You run along. You know. Be careful. Be as you run along. I will. was bored so he asked me to take him out oh. and you did without permission I'm sorry your highness that was an oversight call 
insult to the throne of Ugunta and oversight. Where is Ikem? What sacrilege are you vomiting? You went out with the prince from this palace, now you're back to the same palace without him. Yes, your highness. He left before me. I, I searched everywhere for him. You searched. Why have you returned without him? Father, he may be saying the truth. You know your son, Ikem. He can be impossible sometimes. Smart. Out. Out through that door. Come back here. Can you move? Go back to wherever you, you get him. Don't return to this palace without him. Do I make myself clear? Now come again. I said you do not return anywhere around this palace except you are with the prince. Get out! What are you doing here? Where is he? Where is my brother? Because I knew you were lying to father. Speak, else I will have no option than to report you to father. Why not be your brother's keeper and allow this matter to slide, my princess? Do not patronize me, Obiese. Where is Ikeme Funa? Do not force me to return to father, because you know the outcome. No one exists without little secrets. Secrets that we never wanted shared with people. Especially people that hold us to very high esteem. Why not be a good little girl and allow your brother to have a good time to himself? Or do you prefer we go to talk to your father, the king? Go to bed. Good girl. Catch some sleep. I will be right back.
scared me. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to. Just that I couldn't take my eyes off the goddess you have behind you. Stop, stop. Someone might see us. I want you in my room tonight. No excuses. When the entire palace must have gone to bed. I, I, I don't think I can... Else the king will hear of your dirty activities with the princess. So tonight in my room, I will not take no for an answer. Else, your entire life in this palace will be miserable. Why are you this wicked? Why can't you let that poor girl be? What has she done to you? You can keep me or ignore me for all I care. But read my lips. I will not allow you to take advantage of that innocent girl with your cheap blackmail. You see, I used to think you're white. But now I know otherwise. Why can't you just allow me have a feel of the goodness she's endowed with by God? Are you this selfish? Stay away from her. She's not yours. <laughs> Is that what you think? I know for real. Is that what you think? Why can't you just be a good girl and allow this slide? Because you cannot stand on the way of a tide. It will surely blow you away. Or do you prefer I talk to your father, the king? I mean to tell him of the activities the other day with she and your friend. And who would believe you? It's your word against mine. <laughs> oh my God. Who will believe me? <laughs> okay then. Let me show you a little video that might interest you. Who will believe me? There you go. Oh, not so fast, my princess. Not so fast. <laughs> I will advise you. Stay cool and allow me to take what is mine. Get up. Blow, 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 blow. Blow, 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 Eo, 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 Eo,
Is there any other thing we can do for you, my prince? No, no. Thanks, you my girl. So... You haven't said anything about... your dish. How was the experience? Merida. She was the bomb. She was. Um, I just wonder where she is now. What she's doing. Yeah. Well, um, she was a good lay. Every other thing doesn't matter. I guess so. You know, in as much as I cherish what we had last night, for some awkward reason, I don't, I don't think I want to see her again. Why? I don't know. This, this, uneasy feeling about her presence, I, I can't place it, but, but something about her doesn't just sit well. Well, whatever. The video has been done. Life goes on. Um, get me a plate of food. And be fast about it. Easy. Hey, sis. Greetings, my friends. I can see that someone is um, still ha angry with me. Can I sit? If you feel like. Say whatever you want to say and leave. As you can see, I was busy before you came. Um, Adoma, I get it. You're angry because I, I didn't let you in on my 
Where about last night? I'm sorry. I honestly didn't mean to keep you in the dark. I didn't mean it. I wouldn't do it again. It's not about you. What is it about? It's about Obiese. Obiese? What about Obiese? Be very careful. It doesn't mean well for you. She is not happy with you. You have to be careful with her. Why are you telling me this? I thought she's your lover. I am not a lesbian. I don't do women. She and her friend forced me into what she saw. I tried to resist. But she threatened to send me away from the palace. I am an orphan and I cannot stand the thought of being homeless because I cannot return to my father's compound. My uncle has sworn to kill me if he ever sets his eyes on me again. Listen, no one is going to send you away from this palace. As long as you promise to remain mine. I promise. <laughs> No, no, honestly, I just, uh, but I didn't know it was going to happen like that if you asked me. Sometimes. Right? <laughs> that reminds me of um, heading to Abuja tomorrow. Evening is um, due for the country this weekend. Wow. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I can't wait to see her. I mean, after a long time. Are you telling me? It's been a while. I miss her so much. Oh. Honestly, I cannot wait for this marriage and coronation to be over. Right. So that I can move on to more personal things. Personal things? Yeah. What could be more personal than dedicating yourself to your wife and, um, you know, trying to be better for your kingdom? It'll be. There are more pressing things than the throne. This strong. I, I like to pursue my career and, you know, live in a life that. Why do you look like you just saw a ghost? Are you shocked to see me? Marida, what, what are you doing here? I cannot remember telling you my address, where I'm from or where I live or who I am and um, how come you, you're here? How did you find mm. me? Too many questions. You should be concerned about why I am here and not how I got here. Remember you're a gold fish and a goldfish has no hiding place. Hmm. So, why are you here? What is that? Just take it. Open it. It's no letter bomb.
What is the meaning of this? This has got to be the biggest joke of the century. Do I look like a joker to you? Didn't you read the letter? Whatever you read there, that's what it is. And, and you expect me to believe that, right? Okay, let's say that what you say is true. You're pregnant. <laughs> it could be anyone's baby. Prince of Ubunta Kingdom, I do not sleep around. I am pregnant and it is yours. <laughs> I know your type. You want to reap where you did not sow. You want me to raise another man's bastard. Right. Well, newsflash. I am the crown prince of this kingdom. And no one, I mean no one, messes with me and goes scot-free. Try. You know what? I am not here to banter words with you. I am open for a DNA test. So whenever you're ready for one, contact me. My number is on that letter you just threw on the floor. What happened? What does she want? Is everything all right? I swear by everything I hold sacred. I wasn't avoiding you. I was only busy with... Busy, you said. In this palace. The maid did not attend to my needs for some time now. I know it must be him. Obieze. Lips may not be able to say what I will do to you if you continue to stand on my path of happiness. You may leave. Thank you, my princess. So this is it. I felt it. I knew there was something coming, but I didn't think it was going to come in this form. I took a chill pill. I believe she's obviously after money. But then, why didn't you play safe? Why? I don't know. Obi, I have no idea what came over me that night. I just, I just wanted to be free and have some fun for, for once. I acted as if I was under some form of enchantment. I, I don't know. What do we do? Well, I'm just 
Or oh, do something, all right? You didn't commit uh, much crime. You got her pregnant, you didn't kill anyone. You're making this even sound worse. Who is she? What does she want? The prince looks obviously worried. What could be the content of that envelope that makes the prince look this worried? We must meet with her tonight. In clear terms, I want to know her stand. But I can bet my life, she is in for the money. Trust me. Money. Yes. Money. Obiense. I sincerely hope that's all she wants. Money. How oh, did I get myself into this mess? Hey man, take a chill pill. I, I got this on lockdown. Don't worry. Here you are. I have practically searched for you all over the palace. What are you doing here all to yourself? Um, <clears throat> I just needed to clear my head. Um, yeah, but I'm, I'm fine. My prince, you're like an open book to me. I am your only sister and I have known you for years. I know when you are troubled. So tell me, what troubles your spirit? Or is it that lady that came here earlier today? No. It has nothing to do with her. I just had a little business issue I needed to sort out. But it's sorted now. You have nothing to worry about. I know you care about me. Um, but it's nothing. I have said it. If you say so, just be careful. Blue, 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 it is obvious you don't want to share whatever is bothering you with me. No matter how hard you try to pretend that all is well, I know something is wrong. But you prefer to deal with it with the help of Opieze than me, your sister. There's... There is nothing bothering me. Nothing I cannot handle. Besides you, you refer to Obieze as though he is a stranger. Forgetting that he is family too. He is our cousin. Well, if you say so, I just want you to be careful.
Absolutely. Hey, son. Yeah, son. Uh, <laughs> Good to see you again. Yeah. yeah. Welcome back from the journey. Come on. Thank you. Thank you, brother. Right. My daughter. We have actually waited for it. We thank the gods. Since of course you think the kingdom of the kingdom, eh? where you are going to be made to be very very Thank you. Welcome once. Yeah, I am very good. Heir apparent to the throne of Ubuntu Kingdom, Donald Ikemevna Ikemba, hmm? my lovely son. Uh, my prince, you are welcome. Thank you. Um, well, no dull moments now. Because it's going to be um, celebration galore. Excuse me. Huh? Yes. seem to be happy out there. Why did you leave that way? I don't know, but I'm, I'm just fine. I, I'm feeling feverish. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. I think you're just probably tired from me, from the trip. I should um, take you to the room. Father's mistress. Do you know her before? No, <laughs> of course not. Why do you ask? Um, uh, nothing. Um, I was only... It's fine. It's fine. You're, you're tired, I'm sure. Let's, let's go to your room. Father, I know you to be a careful man. This, this woman, do you even know her? Where she's from, what she does. She could be dangerous. Enough! I said, enough! Now I know enough of her to know that she is harmless. Completely harmless. Avalanche in the sea. Confirmed that she is spotless. And who the gods have said yes to? Who are you to say no to? Father, it doesn't sound like it's you talking. 
Father, you have taught me that all that glitters is not gold. I think there's more to that woman that, that missed the eye. Jim, why are you pushing this matter this far? Why? Did you know this young woman before now? I knew her before. Does not matter. Right now, I have this uneasy feeling about her father. You can. I think you're tired and you need rest, long one. Hmm? There is nothing wrong with my mistress. Absolutely nothing. Okay? She's a good woman. A good young woman. And I'm sure that with time, you'll get to like her. That I promise you. That doesn't still explain the fact that you couldn't put a call across to me. My father, our father, took a mistress and you didn't deem it fit to call me. Come on, you know better than this. I know you had my back. Bearing in mind that you've seen that lady here before. Now you want to blame me. I thought you said nothing was wrong. I thought you said it was just a little business issues to take care of. So why are you suddenly trying to bust a vein? Seeing her around father. Hmm? That still doesn't change anything. It doesn't. Why should I even bother calling you when I am never even consulted before any decision is taken in this palace? How do I even know if it's not an arrangement, courtesy, of you and OBSA? How do I? Stop sounding ridiculous. Stop it. Yes, I apologize for not letting you in on all this initially, but that's not enough reason for you to do what you did. I heard voices. Darling, is everything all right? <laughs> Absolutely, everything is fine. I was just, um, just trying to sort out some things with my sister. It is okay. I will be waiting in the room. Um, I'll come over to the room soon. <laughs> we have a whole lot to chase about. I can't wait. I have missed your stories a lot. Temperature. You need to rest. Okay? I will be fine. Where did she come from? Who? Your father's mistress. Have you met her before? Why this sudden curiosity, babe? Are you sure you're alright? I don't think I like her. I have this uneasy feeling about her presence in this palace. The manner in which she looks at you. I just think 
Everything is not all right. Why would you even think that, babe? Why in the world would I know her? I, I don't know her from anywhere. Why would you think that? I don't even know what I'm talking. Yeah, that's fine, babe. It's, it's okay. If you know what, do not worry your head about it. Okay? I'm sure you're just stressed and jet lagged. The whole journey is making you stressed. So what you need to do right now is rest. Okay? I'm sure when you wake up in the morning, you'll be all right. Just be careful, darling. I love and don't want to lose you. You wouldn't lose me. All right. Now rest. Hey, boo. Are you scared to see me? What do you want from me? He came. Why are you so impossible? Take things easy. We are friends, remember? Moreover, our baby gets to feel the warmth of his father. What are you up to? Listen to me. Whatever plans, whatever gimmicks, whatever scheme you think you have. You see in this palace? It wouldn't work. Take it elsewhere. You are so stubborn and arrogant. I don't know why you're busting a blood vessel over something you're supposed to be cool and taking advantage of. Just take it easy. Remember we're family now. You've got no choice. <laughs> oh, these arms. I miss them around me. Don't worry, no one is seeing us. I miss your whole body down the depth of my thing. See, baby, baby, let's take advantage. Let's create those scenes again. Come on. Hey, hey, hey. Where you think you are? Where? Hmm. Merida, or whatever you call yourself, this is not a brothel. Hey, wake up. Look around you. This is a palace made for royalty. Mm. Now, if you want to stay here to last, you need to comport yourself. Stay away from me. Yo. 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 My darling, and baby, don't keep me waiting. Okay. <laughs> What does she want? So you knew she was here? What, what is she doing here? I just saw her the way you did. You just saw her the way I did? Obiezi, oh, you saw her in the palace and you didn't deem it necessary to put a call through to me. Why didn't you call me? Come on, just take a chill pill. Don't work yourself off for nothing. 
like I said, I just saw her the way you did. I cannot start telling you right there at the airport. Besides, Eve might suspect something fishy. I can't believe this. What is that good for nothing Harlot want from me? What does she want from me? Well, I suggest you talk to the king. Who knows? Maybe you digged it real hard, you know? <laughs> I'm sorry. This, this is just all messed up. I have spoken to my father. I tried to convince him to to let her go, but he's hell bent on keeping her. Wow, that's a little problem, though. I was actually wondering where you entered. Oh, I went to check on the royal maidens. Maidens? Oh, uh, come on. You don't need to bother with that. Obiaza will do that. If you say so. Yes. Um, you are not supposed to be here. Where am I supposed to be? Hmm. Well, yes. you are supposed to be somewhere close to paradise. Oh, mm. Paradise? <laughs> and where is paradise? Well, let me show you where paradise is. Mm. Come with me. It was just uh, a nightmare. You want to talk about it? No. Are you sure? No. Okay. Uh, it's okay. It's okay. Relax. Come. Come. It's okay, man. Morning greetings, my queen. Good morning, Merida. Mm -hmm. I did not hear you come. Uh, um, though I have the feeling you've been avoiding me. Avoiding you? Why? Um, I don't know, but I can feel it. Um, my queen. See, we are the only two female adults in this palace. We should be working together. Hmm? We shouldn't be worried apart as female. We should, you know. I am not avoiding anybody. I'm a little bit exhausted after a busy time in the UK. Please, don't count it that way. No, I understand. I perfectly understand. <laughs> oh, it's okay. <laughs> um, where is your husband? Oh, he he went to town. He will be back soon. Oh, okay. Yeah. Though I have a feeling he does not approve my presence in this palace. Who? My husband? Mm -hmm. No, don't say that. My husband can be impossible and stubborn, but he does not hate people. He is not with such a heart. Well, if you say so, yeah. see, I, I have this thing, when someone... Hi, baby. Hi. 
do you get? Your wife. <laughs> Is that supposed to be a joke? Stay away from my wife. I do not want to see you close to her again. You are here for my father. Stay around him. If I see you anything as close as an inch to her again, you'll be sorry. Is that a threat? A threat. Let me see you close to her again, and then we'll find out. Go, Digger. What's up? What's up? When would you stop for leaking with um, these girls? I guess when you stop being so sexy and being pretty, <laughs> I might think of stopping. You need help. I know. I know. I know. And you will never change. Come on, man. You are worse than me. Right. Of course. Mm. You know that, right? If you have to do this, do it somewhere else. I'm not here. Um, this is somewhere else. Um, not like inside the palace. Oh, really? Okay. Since you're giving me holier than thou attitude, maybe I'll go tell your wife of your activities. How about that? Off I go. <laughs> Your mind's kicked. No, I was joking. I was joking. So you look troubled. What is it? Um, okay. It was so real. I saw you, the king, and all Bienze. Uh, it was just a dream, like you said. There's, there's no way we would have been in such such acts. Something is wrong here. But I can't place my hand on it. Get me my Bible. <laughs>
I'm sorry. Uh, I didn't mean to startle you. It's fine. I didn't hear you come. That's I'm okay. okay. Um, we've really never had time to talk. Are you deliberately avoiding me? Avoid you? Nah, far from that. You know I'm a very busy person and besides, you're my father's mistress. And I don't think we have much in common than the former relationship. You sound very interesting. <laughs> and I like that. Um, what are you doing out here all alone at this hour of the night? Are you okay? I guess I was bored. So I decided to come out and feel the breeze and look at the sky. Count the stars. <laughs> that actually makes the two of us. I was bored sick after your father slept off. Not like I blame him, the old bones needed to rest. He was far spent after just one trip. I'm sorry. Didn't mean to bore you with stories of me and your father. Oh, can I have a stick? Why are you looking at me like that? What do you take me for? A scent? <laughs> Please. No. I didn't say that. Just that you're my father's mistress. And I know he's very principled when it comes to women. You equally sound exciting. I like that. In fact, I want to know more of you. <laughs> and I can feel the exciting vibe around you too. So, tell me more about yourself. Mm. What is there to tell? I'm just a poor village orphan from the nearby kingdom who is searching for love and adventure. Oh, there you have it. I see. Nice. So can I have a stick now? Sure. We will be good friends. Good. You too, you're not looking bad. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Both of you and the rest are in royal service. In the house of royalty. Okay? So, we must do royalty self. You must learn. Royal gate. You must learn even royal This is my bad. Okay. May you don't get this. My sweet honey. I hope you're going to see the doctor today. Um, that's where I'm coming from. And sense is with us. Oh, beautiful. Um, beautiful. Um, he... Yes. He asked me to give you this. Now, what's this? Well, I am afraid, Your Highness, I cannot tell you that. I really don't have the courage to. So you have to open it yourself. I am opening it and it's not opening. Open it, Your Highness. Yes. The letter. Mm -hmm. The letter. No. No. 
serious about this, are you? Are you? I am. You are? Oh, gods of our land. What can I do without <laughs> you? Oh, you have chosen to, to bless me in my old age. What a miracle. <laughs> what a miracle. Good to have a time. I'm going to be a father yet again. Hey, come, 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 come on. You know? Come on, come on. Let's go inside. This calls for celebration. Hey, come on, come on, come on. Hey. I open the door for you. From now on, you do nothing. <laughs> do not say who that about my mistress ever again. She's a member of this royal family now. Like you said, Father, she's only just a mistress and I do not have anything against her however I am not comfortable with her schemes in this palace what was that what did you say schemes can you explain that she's a schemer How in this world can she be pregnant for you, the king of water? How? I see. Impudence. So, gods of Ugunta, the gods of Ugunta not bless me even now as my old age. Is that what you are insinuating? Ikem. Ikem Efna. You are my son. But I forbid you or any other person talking about my mistress in that manner. I only speak the truth, Father, and not against her. But anyone that is in the way of our peace in this household will not have it likely by me. Now what? What? What do you mean? You, a mere boy, a mere boy whose umbilical cord has not been cut. If the gods of Ubuntu. The gods of Ubunda did not want her. They would have revealed it to me. Be careful. Be careful the way you talk to me. This is still my kingdom. Yo, 
I have been loyal, Father. I have been humble, obedient to you. Do not set this kingdom ablaze before you hand it over to me or anyone else. Everything about you. I hate to see you sad. What a big joke. Igwe, the only thing you love about me is the fact that I keep your royal bed warm. No. No, Merida. You mean much more than that to me, and you know it. Merida. You brought joy and happiness to an old man. Then why do you allow your son to make my stay here miserable? Huh? I don't understand why he wants to take away my happiness. Even yours. He does not want you to be happy, can't you see? Make me your wife. My father is talking about getting married to her, making her his wife. Wow. He looked me straight in the face and said, I'm going to reveal this is really serious. What does she want? What is she doing here? Supports my desire to be your father's wife. And in return, I will give you that which I know your heart desires. Which is... Father, I have come to say who she truly is. She's a very kind, loving and accommodative person with a heart of gold. And I support your desire to make her my stepmother. It will gladden my heart to see her around you.
itself. It's a big relief. A big relief that at least one of my children supports my happiness in this my old age. I don't know why the game hates her with such a burning passion. But, but I'm sure that with time she will turn around and regard her as, as his stepmother. Yes. This is ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. You support father marrying a total stranger? Do you know who that lady is? Do you know what she wants from us, what she wants from her family, where she's from? What if father is under some sort of enchantment? No one is under any enchantment. All I see is a lonely old man who wants a little bit of happiness before he joins his ancestors. Why not allow father and that young lady have their fun? She's not standing on anyone's way. Besides, She's carrying his child. Another royal seed. Oh, God. So you believe that? I don't know what that lady has done to play fool everyone in this, in this palace and I don't get it. Wake up, Adoma. Wake up before it's too late. Blue, 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 blue. Blue, 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 blue. Blood of the king, blood of the king. You're here. Hey, baby. You're done eating? Yes. How was it? It was. <coughs> oh! What is it? What is it? What is it? What is it? God! What is this? Get it, get it, get it, get it, car! Get it! Get it, get it. Give me a friend. What are you insinuating? That food, which was served in this palace, from which every one of us partook, was poisoned. Somebody. Beware. Beware of entertaining such dangerous thoughts in your head. I am not a doctor that confirmed that she was poisoned. Father, I lost my child. Your grandchild. How can I possibly be making these things up? There's something absolutely wrong in this palace, and you know it. So, so, you are accusing me, your father, the king of Uguta Kingdom, of complicity in the wild wind. I did not accuse you, Father. I'm only stating the obvious. Someone in this palace must have minded the entire thing. It wasn't food poison. It was poison. I'm sure of it. Hey, bring my briefcase. Father, if you would do nothing about it, I will.
someone poisons my wife in this palace on that is truth and you expect me to be calm about it Since my father made the devil his mistress, nothing, nothing has stayed same. And now, she comes with my wife and I. She decides to take my wife's life. She'll have to go through me first. Well, I, I strongly believe you, my prince. There's no smoke without fire. She is the one behind this. I mean, such a thing has never happened in this palace before. Listen. We must unmask her and make the king send her away. And don't you both think that there is an enemy that we don't know. You are all aware that <coughs> Evelyn, the wife of my son here, became a villain. Uh, apparent to the throne of Ubuntu Kingdom was poisoned. Poisoned by the food she ingested in this mm -hmm. palace. As spurious as that may mm. sound, I had to go to the hospital to find out for myself. And I want to announce that it is no longer an allegation. The hospital has confirmed that Evelyn was actually poisoned by the food she ate in this palace. What that means is that we have a killer among us here. Subsequently, I had to go to Abalat. Try and find out who the evil killer among us is. The Abalat has shown who the killer is. Person that did the poisoning. He went further to say that that person is not working alone. That the person has accomplices in this palace. That's disturbing news. Isiako, step forward. Forward here before I behead you. Speak. Speak before I behead you. Why did you poison Evelyn's food? Why? How did you do it? I am innocent. I did not do it. 
You're my king. And I couldn't have concealed such evil thoughts in my heart. Let alone allow my hands carry them. Please, please. Spare my life, please. Stop! I can see that you have evil in your heart. Gods. <laughs> Far away and be happy. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, wait. I know that this is not in my place to ask. Nonetheless, I, I would ask. It, it is my wife that was poisoned. But thanks to the gods for sparing her life. Let us not take another man's life or spill blood because of what was done to my wife. That being said, I, I humbly plead that you banish her instead. And if she is guilty, that the gods judge her. But if she's innocent, let posterity judge us. Barrister, Your Highness. you're welcome. Thank you, Your Highness. I invited you here, as well as members of my family, to make the following announcement. I want my will changed. My will, we have to change to accommodate my wife here, who is also uh, the mother to be of my child unborn. I will give you details of the will subsequently. That's why I asked you over. That's why I asked my family to be present. Okay. Your Highness, I have heard you and I will be waiting for your information as you promised. Thank <laughs> you. 
<laughs> My father has obviously lost his mind. talking about rewriting his will without letting me in on it his first son the heir to the throne of Ogunda kingdom how ah, no there's no way that man is my father no way He's practically acting like a robot. I don't know what she has given to him, but that is not my father. There's definitely something wrong somewhere. Honey, I suggest we return back to the States. Maybe after some times, your father will realize that he's making a very big mistake. But then he will realize that he needs his son around him. There's no way I'm leaving my kingdom and running to a foreign land. There's no way. This is my land. I will stay here and resolve this. But you're no longer needed here. Can't you see that your presence has been moved to the background? Your father now listens to his mistress more than you. Is it when you have been reduced to a male servant that you will understand that you will walk away, save your face, and walk away now that you still have a little dignity left in you? to be very comfortable with all that is happening in this house. Merida has come to steal the joy we have shared for years now. Our bond, our happiness. Someone who is here for our own selfish, selfish desires, a gold digger. This is a modern age. You do not expect me to be at war with everyone. Just because my brother doesn't like them. Why do you want to create a war where there is none? Or are you greater in wisdom than father? Or more spiritually deep than Abalanzi, the seer? Who we'll finds her worthy to be around the palace? Prince Ikeme Funa, Donald Ikemba. Do not stand in the way of the gods. Slumped. 
Have you called Dr. Smith? Oh, oh yes, she's on her way. What did you do to my father? What? She did nothing to father. She said he just split and slammed on the ground. I don't believe that. Maybe he tripped or something. I, I don't believe that. Don't, don't, don't touch him. I don't believe that. How long is it going to take her to get here? Now, can you call her again and know where she is? I've called her. I believe she should be close. I didn't touch him. Why He has a sore on his head, obviously due to the fall. I cannot ascertain the level of um, damage is done until he's stable. Then we can run a scan on him. Blue, 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 blue. Hmm. Blue, 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 blue. Blue, blue, blue. Um, thank you very much, Doctor. Yeah. I... I appreciate it. What could have made him slow? Father, for a long time now, has not complained about any form of ailment at all. How come all this is happening now? Honestly, King. I'm as confused as you are. I mean, I can't just understand what is going on. I suspect, I suspect there is an evil aura around your father's mistress. Now come to think of it, since she came in in this palace, there's been negativities. There's been a bad vibe. There's been so much going on. Think of it. Um, we need to be very careful. We need to be very careful. We cannot trust anyone in this palace, not even the guards. Sure. I have a strong feeling that someone is after my father's life. I cannot place it, but I know it. We cannot trust anyone. Not anyone, not the guards, not the maidens. Please, I really need you to keep watch over my father. Hey, come on, I man. beg you. You don't need to beg me. He's also my uncle. That's not a problem. <sighs> Thank you. If you get tired, I'll, I'll come and take over. It's quite cool. cool. Let me go watch over him. Go sleep. His recovery rate is quite slow. But I'm certain that um, he would snap out of it and regain consciousness. Did he in any way complain about any form of body weakness before this happened? No. He didn't. Why do you ask? Can I see you privately? Sure. Your Highness, there are high dosage of tramadol and other painkillers in his bloodstream. Surprisingly, your father that I know does not ascribe to self-medication and continuous usage of these drugs could be detrimental to his health. Who knows? There might be someone somewhere administering these drugs to him to kill him slowly. Thank you. You're welcome, Your Highness.
What are you doing? So it's been you all along. It's been you. I won't kill you with my bed. You are exhausting. Or I will blow her skull into pieces. What did we ever do to you? What? My father took you in when your father passed. And he has treated you nothing less than a son. Nothing less than a son. He has given you all the privileges. This man has loved you. I'm giving you... Oh, cut me that bullshit! What do you know about love? No, I'm asking you, what do you and your father know about love? When he killed my father with, with his occultism, you talk about love? What the hell are you talking about? Oh, yes. Your father killed my father, his elder brother. If not, why did he die the next day after returning from the seat where he went to inform your father about his upcoming coronation as the next king of Ubuntu? Why? Your father killed my father, knowing that he will be the next in line when he dies. From that day, I vow to pay your father back for his wickedness. The throne he enjoys today is mine. And I'm here to take what rightfully belongs to me. I know nothing about what you're talking about. <laughs> I swear on my mother's grave. My father did not kill your father. He loved him. He loved your father. Remember how we used to be, Obiese? Remember how we used to be? How... He, he, he. Oh, call me that salmon muggo. I'm here to take what rifle that belongs to me. I'm here to end this. Take the throne. Take anything you want. Spare my father. Spare, spare oh. my wife's life. Spare her life. Please, you um, can have it. Why are we even wasting time with this loser? Let's end this charade. Oh, guys, get the hell out of me. You are mad. I don't need to do this. I will okay. end. Not so fast. Under arrest for murder and attempted murder. did not kill anyone. You'll soon find out who you killed.
He took me to an Indian temple where we obtained some charms which I used on the king to make him fall in love with me. Our plan was to take over everything. When the king requested that his will be rewritten, we took advantage of that to influence the will that it may favor me and Obiese, which we forced the lawyer to do at gunpoint. He had no choice. Do you have any other thing to tell me? What could be the reason for Adelma's arrest? Yesterday it was Obeze and Merida. Now it's Adelma. Hmm. Hope we are still safe in this palace. My dear, I'm really scared. Because with the way things are going in this palace, they might come and arrest us one day. I'm thinking of going back to my maternal home now. Aye, that's a good to that extent. Okay? Look at them, gossipers. I am sorry, son, for not being there when you needed me most. Forgive me. Forgive me. Forgive your father. You know, the world is really, really evil. And we must all know that. I should have resisted. Resisted that evil woman. Resisted whatever power she came with. But I failed. Son, I failed. Isako. You saved my life. Mm. You saved my life, not minding that once I passed a death sentence on you. Our gods will continue to protect you. See? It is my pleasure to serve you till death, Your Highness. has been under a lot of pressure. I myself have, have had my own share of the pressure. But in all of this, I have become stronger. That's good. And indeed, I can beat my chest to say that to withhold the pressure of the truth. Oh yes, oh yes. Son, you have indeed demonstrated that. You know, the events of the recent past have assured me that you are well able to grapple the affairs of, of the throne. When I am gone, yes, I am enormously proud of you. You know, you are the first seed of my loins. No fear. Not at all.
Oh, this world is really evil. Evil. We must all be strong to resist the devil and his cohorts. Who would have thought that that evil woman wasn't pregnant after all? Oh, she had me. She had me deceived completely. I was taken in. Son, father, you must avoid those mistakes I made. You have taught me well, son. <laughs> Thank you. 